hello everyone and welcome to another video so today in this video we are going to take a look at this digital socket timer i got this timer from amazon and for this i paid about 600 rupees which is close to 7 us dollars now i got this timer for turning on and turning off my aquarium lights which i usually forget to turn on and turn off at times now this timer is programmable so i can program at what time my aquarium light will turn on and what time my aquarium light will turn off and this will work for all the weekdays so that's very nice now you can program individual days also maybe on monday you want your lights to turn on on a separate uh, time on tuesday you want to turn on and turn off on a separate time so all sorts of combinations are possible now the one that i've got comes with only two pins and this is rated for uh, 10 amperes uh, uh, of power of current uh, this one is from a brand called black tea but similar units are available on the internet from different brand names but the working of these timers are similar so without any further delay let's just open the box and see how it looks from inside so inside you will see that the timer is very small so in the picture it was looking really big and i'm really happy to see that it is not that big so it is put in like that here is your two pin plug and you can see that it is rated at 10 amperes digital socket timers it comes with a three pin plug and here is your screen which is not very big there are a couple of buttons there's a reset button which you can uh, reset press reset the whole unit your minutes button hour button week button program button on off button clock button and reset and uh, restore button so there is that let's take a look at what else we get in the box in the box you will get a small pamphlet which talks about other products that they sell and it looks like we get a small instruction leaflet as well so here is the instruction leaflet i'm gonna leave this page here so that you can see so there is that so let me keep the manual aside for now let me show you how it works because i have used this unit before right so as you can see this is how the unit looks the first thing that you want to do on this unit is set the time to set the time all you have to do is press the clock button once once the clock button is pressed, now you can change the week, the hour, the minute. So make sure you're continuously pressing the clock button. And while I'm continuously pressing the clock button, if I change the week, you will see that the week is now changing. Today is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, anything you want to set, you can set. So let's just go with uh, Monday today. So today is Monday. Right. So let's set the time now. I'm going to set this to 6 uh, am so again keep pressing the clock button now change the hour you can see i will go to six three four five six this is six while i'm keep while i'm pressing the clock button i can press the minute button as well to change the minute so i want this to be zero release the clock button and your time is set so basically all you have to do is keep pressing the clock button and while you're pressing the clock button if you press the week button the weeks will change if you press the hour button the hours will change if you press the minute button the minutes will change once you let go of the clock button your time will be set so as you can see at the moment we've said that today is monday it is 6 a.m and uh, that's pretty much it now let me uh, show you how you can program this unit all right guys so now let us take a look at how you can program this timer to turn on and off your device automatically so as you can see on this unit there's a small button which is program press it once once you press the button, you can press the week button. So there are different groups of weeks. You can decide on which day you want to set which time. So if I press it again, you will see only Monday's displayed. So I can change the turning on and turning off my device on Monday. Press it again. I can change the on and off of my device on Tuesday. I can change the device on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday individually. So on Monday, it may work on different timings. On Tuesday, it may work on different timings. So all the different options are available press the week button again you can see a group of week is displayed in which all the working days are displayed monday to friday so if i set some timing in there that means your timer will work exactly the same on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday that it means your device will turn on and off on the same time on these working days if you press it again you will see only the weekends are displayed so your timing will work same on saturday and sunday so all sorts of combination and grouping is possible if you press it again uh, sunday is excluded only monday to saturday is included press it again 
alternate days are included monday tuesday skipped wednesday thursday skipped then friday press it again then thursday uh, tuesday thursday saturday middle days are middle days are skipped press it again the first three days press it again the first the last three days of a working day including saturday press it again all the weeks are displayed so these are the groupings that you can uh, change time from but in my case i want my light to turn on and off on all the days monday to sunday so that's where i will be setting my time on so as you can see press the button again you will see all the weekdays are displayed and that's where we will be, be uh, making changes to our time so once you press this button you will see there is first on time is displayed what this means is basically there are 15 settings so i press the program button again you will see first off second on second off and so on so there is at least 16 uh, settings in this timer that means on monday you can turn your unit on 16 times and turn them off 16 times so that's a lot of combination that you can try almost everything is covered uh, uh, there so i'm not really sure who will be using that many amount of uh, turning on and turning off cycles for me only one cycle would be enough so let me show you how it works i will be setting only at least uh, uh, five turning on and turn off time and in a very small interval so that will be we will be able to see uh, how the unit is working in a sm small period of time so as you can see the current time that i've set in this timer is about 5.5 uh, 5, uh, a.m so press the program button all the weekdays are displayed now press the hour button so we want to set our turning on time of a device so i want my device to turn on uh, at now as you can see while i'm changing the unit if i want this to be zero you can press the reset button and will go back to zero now again again start changing the time i want five something five and let's go with 515 so i will write this down let's change this to 515 515 So that's my turning on time now you can set the at you can set the interval of about one minute which is the minimum interval that uh, you can separate the on and off time so let me set the off time to 516 so if i press the hour button again let's go to five for five i will go to 16 16 i'm write this down 516 then i will go 517 turn on time then i will go five 18 and so on so as you can see this is the second off time press the program button again i will get the second turn on time which will be 5 5 17 so second time my device will turn on is going to be 5 17 as you can see i've made a mistake i will press the reset button again set the on time 5 and i'm going to go to 17 make sure that you don't overshoot otherwise you will have to either keep pressing the button until you come back to the same number or you have to reset the setting again so 517 is now set i press this again then i will set the uh, second turn off time which is going to be uh, 518 so at after one in one minute of interval my unit will turn on and turn off 518 press it again again third time i want my unit to turn on which is going to be 519 519 press it again i want my unit to turn off at 520 20 22 press it again i'm going to be only setting up for five settings so we've, we've already reached about 522 okay i've overshot so let's go to five again five twenty three and off time the fifth time my unit will turn off if you keep pressing it it will go fast twenty four and press the clock button and your timings are now set but as you can see i've written all the timings uh, let me explain what will happen then so let's say i set these timings to work on 
all the days monday to uh, sunday so on monday let's say it's monday on monday the first time it will turn on is 5 15 am as you can see here 5 15 am that is my first turn on time then it will turn itself off at 5 16 again it will turn on at 5 17 turn off at 5 18 so as this is how it works and it will do the same thing on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday because i've set the timing on all the weekdays but there are different groups that you can select and such settings i've got 16 of them so you can decide how many at least 16 times you can turn on your device and 16 times you can turn off your device so that's a lot of settings but for me just one unit uh, one setting will work uh, i don't have to set the second third fourth fifth i just want my aquarium light to turn on at a particular time in the morning and turn off at a particular time in the morning so only one setting would be enough for me anyways we just set our time to turn on at 5.15. So let's quickly plug this unit in and plug a small uh, bulb so that we will be able to see how the unit works. Right. So I've got this a small extension here. So let me just plug this in. Turn the unit on. It's turned on. I've got a small lamp here which will provide some visual representation. Right. So as you can see, we've got the timer. Uh, we've got the time uh, displaying on the screen. We've got a small lamp which is connected to the socket. We've got power as you can see there. So hopefully if everything works out great, our timing will work, which is like it will turn on at uh, 5.15, turn off at 5.16, again turn on at 5.17 and so on and so on. So let's come back and it is about to hit uh, uh, 5.15 mark. All right guys, so we're about to reach, as you can see it is 5.15, the lamp turned on and once we hit 5.16, which is what we set, the first uh, turn off time the lamp will turn off now let's come back when it is about to hit uh, 516 Alright guys, so while the timing is still going on, we are about 523 mark, that means the unit is turned on, as you can see it is turned on, and it will turn off at 524. Let me show you what these uh, on-off button do. So if I press the on-off button, let me zoom it in a little bit. You can see if I press the on button, you will see it will stay on, it will disregard all the programming that you've done. If I press the off button, it will turn itself off. Technically, the unit should be turned on because but we've overridden the programming by pressing the off button as you can see it says off it will disregard the uh, programming that you've done if you press it again it will go to auto and it will start following the programming that you've done so this is what this on off auto does on means always on off means always off auto means it will follow the programming that you've done so we are about 523 uh, 51 second we are about to reach 524 and finally it should turn itself off so let's for, wait for it there we go so this is how the unit works and i've only set this for like five times and i've just shown you that there is about 16 seconds so for each day you can send uh, set 16 different settings so that's a lot of combination uh, to play with so that's how the unit works in this case i've only connected a simple single bulb on the socket what if i wanted to uh, control multiple lights with one socket and if I wanted to turn them on and off exactly at the same time. So instead of connecting a single unit on the one here, what I can do is instead of connecting a single plug here, I can connect a whole extension box to this socket. And if this socket has a six, uh, six different uh, sockets, I can connect six different aquarium lights and all the six aquarium lights will be turned on and off by these uh, timer alone. So very versatile, very easy to set up and not very expensive. And because there's a built-in clock, uh, uh, there's a small built-in nickel metal hydride battery. I'm not sure whether it is easily replaceable or not. We'll see how long that will last. But there's a small uh, built-in uh, battery there which keeps the time. So even if there is a power cut, it will remember all your settings and it will remember the time uh, timing as well. The other good thing is that it displays the current month to you. So I'm somebody who usually forgets the... 
uh, I don't usually remember the day of the month so by looking at this I will know okay today is Monday today is Tuesday and so on, so on and so forth all right guys so now that we've seen how the unit works let us quickly open it and see what kind of a nickel metal hydride battery they are using and whether the battery is easily replaceable or not so it looks like at the back we've got one two three four five screws so let me just quickly open them and see how the unit looks from inside all right guys so that was the last screw and i was trying for a very long time but the screw will not work and the reason for that was the screws that they've used are not normal phillips head screws they're using a driving screws as you can see so i had to switch to a different bit with a driving three-prong uh, screwdriver bit so there is that so let's just open it and see how it looks from inside right so as you can see these are the wires connected there and it looks like they are not using a normal nickel metal hydride battery this is a very small battery as you can see and the capacity is about 80 milliamp hour but it is indeed a nickel metal hydride battery and it is 1.2 volt but i'm pretty sure that if once the battery go bad you can uh, solder a normal double size or triple size nickel metal hydride battery there here's your black color relay which turns the switching on and switching off small crystal there which keeps the time your big capacitor and other small components there so that's pretty much about how it looks from inside the battery is not easily replaceable but i'm pretty sure uh, it will work with normal uh, AA or AAA size nickel metal hydride battery that are easily available in the market so there is that so there we go this was my video on this digital timer socket so if you're somebody who's in the market for a simple uh, timer socket that works without any app or internet connection i think this could be your answer anyways i hope you find this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye